It's time for Think Fast, the speed running game show of fast times and sharp minds. I'm your host, Corva May. And I'm Swoos, also your host. Tonight, Shell's Kitchen, a delicious trivia trip through dinosaur land. Our contestants, Shavda and BK. I'm sure everyone knows the rules, but just to be safe, this is Think Fast, the speedrunning game show. Our contestants will race for the best times in Super Mario World food percent, and let's give up six exit. But what the catch? Boos and I can interrupt whatever we feel like to ask a trivia question. And if a runner answers right, we'll take some seconds off their final time. There's no penalty for guessing wrong, but focus too hard on answering the question and your run might suffer. For all you lovely folks watching, feel free to play along and chat. How are both of you feeling going into tonight's race? Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Physically and metaphorically. I, that's good. That's good that you're hungry. Do you, you want to just get into it? Let's do it. Um, hello, GDQ. Right. Without further delay, it's time to think fast in three, two, one. No, no, wait, one, wait, wait, wait. Hang go. on, hang on. We, we got we to gotta talk about the food percent. We can do that during the beginning of the run. You got this. No. Oh, okay. Okay. We have to do the ritual uh, showing of the of the of the wares. Oh, um, so, hello, GDQ. Uh, many years ago, uh, two speedrunners by the name of Brams and Isofreeze came up with what's called Super Mario World Food Percent. The premise is there's all these food name levels in the game, and every time you beat a food name level, and you have to beat them all, you eat the food associated with the level. Um, for example, when you when you beat a level in Donut Plains, you must eat a donut, a full size donut, no donut holes, no miniature donuts. When you uh, beat Soda Lake, you unlock the ability to drink uh, a 12 ounce can of soda, and you can only only eat or drink on the overworld, and and this can be drank on the overworld, but it must be done by the end of the run. Uh, for Vanilla Dome, uh, you must drink one teaspoon of vanilla extract. For uh, Butter Bridge, is one of my least favorite parts of the run. For each Butter Bridge level, you must consume one tablespoon of butter. For uh, Cheese Bridge area, you must eat one thing of string cheese. For uh, Cookie Mountain, you must eat one Big cookie. This cookie is large. It's six inches in diameter. For Chocolate Island, you must eat one square of chocolate. Cannot eat in levels. Must visit every food-themed level. Must eat the food item on the overworld after getting each exit in every food-themed level. This comes out to about 3,000 to 3,500 calories of food, depending on the details. Literally, do not try this at home. <laughs> Please don't. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Without further delay, it's time to think fast in three, two, one, go. All right. And in Super Mario World fashion, you begin by waiting for the uh, the text to scroll by. Okay, so Yoshi's Island, you need to eat a Yoshi, right? Yep. Got it. Good luck. Thank you. I mean, you can eat an egg. That's like Yoshi adjacent. True, but I guess it's not immediately food-themed level. Yeah, that's true. If you were doing food percent if, with Yoshi's Island specifically, would you have to eat an egg for every level? I don't want to think about that. Do you like the, the Gaston um, <laughs> Egg Egg is not... That's not a terrible idea. Uh, adding three eggs to the run, that's not awful. That's doable. Um, some people, whenever they watch us do this, they they suggest like really inane things that are not humanly possible. And we have to <laughs> tell them to like do the vanilla run first and then talk about what they think is, is feasible. <clears throat> I wonder so how I well a, this could be expanded to other Mario games. I took a poll and shoved this chat earlier <clears throat> about, <clears throat> about whether I should do um, all the speed strats that I know for this game. And I'm extremely rusty, like several years rusty. And her chat decided that I should just go all out and 
have no regard for marathon safety. So I, that's going to be cool. Thanks, chat. Thanks, Shrub, just chat. <laughs> It is worth noting that food percent is actually uh, vegetarian safe. Um, I don't believe it's vegan safe, though there is like vegan butter you can use. So I think technically it is, but it, it was made. Yeah, it shouldn't hmm? be too hard to make this vegan friendly. Just replace all the dairy stuff with like the, the vegan equivalents. Oh. Yeah, because when you have butter and a cookie and chocolate, I guess. Cheese. Yeah. That's not too bad. Are there any levels with flour in the name? Uh, not in this game, nope. That's surprising. Neither spelling of flour. Because, like, if you had that, then you're actually pretty close to having... You're, like, getting there to the ingredients to make a cake. <laughs> I would much rather eat some kind of flour than have to eat raw flour. That, that's just me. I fully <laughs> no, agree. I, I agree with that. <laughs> you shouldn't eat raw flour anyways. That, that's absolutely Don't. right. <laughs> that's one of the trivias. Don't eat raw flour. <laughs> <laughs> Should you eat raw flour? Yes or no? You have an actual food trivia for us, Swoosh? I can get you an actual food trivia. Give me give me a second. Just kind of put on the spot here. During the auto-scroller. All right. What popular chain used to be named Southland Ice Company and Totem Stores? I have absolutely no idea. Southland Ice... Is this a Midwest thing, Shub? Is this familiar to you? Is this Quick Trip? No, no. but it is... It's on the right track. Southland Ice Company. It sounds familiar, but yeah, I'm I'm completely blanking. There's a reason uh, we asked this today. Today. Today is oh, Argentina's 7 Eleven. There you go. Day. That's is correct. It? Okay. Seconds for Shabda. All right. Happy 7 Eleven. All those who celebrate. Most of them were totems. Until 1946, when the chain rebranded their stores to 7-Eleven to reflect the 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. hours, seven days a week. Uh. Which are not their hours anymore, I don't think. Probably not. I don't think so. I feel like the ones that I've been to have been open later. Yeah. They should rename to just 24. That's probably copyrighted by something, by the show. 12 to 12? 12 to 12. 12 to 12? That's pretty fun. Like a mic check. <laughs> Have you died yet, BK? Yeah, in the second level, trying to do box jump. Oh, okay. That's it, though. I died in the first level. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. That's okay. How many exits are going to be done in total? Uh, I believe 44. That's a good number. Yeah, definitely one of the categories. Uh, you won't see 44 in the save file after you reset, though, because the last exit does not give a save prompt. The one before it does, though, which is Choco Port. How did you die in the first level, Shepton? Um, I, I missed box jump. That's my excuse. I wasn't fully paying attention and I ran into a Koopa. You know what? That's fair. Everyone's been there. I've told people from my work that this is happening, and I hope they watch and have immeasurably more respect for me as a result. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess... 
Uh, I forgot to eat a donut. Uh, actually, I forgot to eat two. So oh, no. shall we say? Shall we say after this exit, I just pump three down my throat on the overworld? Is that is that cool with everyone? Yeah, I mean, I'll save it. we'll save a trivia question for that. Yeah, right. you got to clear the backlog. Uh -huh. um, In fact, maybe we'll maybe we'll maybe we have some donut questions planned. Who could say? Do we? Say. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't do know, we? Maybe. I mean, and I guess you'll just have to find out. If the host would like to keep us on task for eating the food, um, feel free. Because I'll try. The reason I don't have the reason I don't have world record is because I forgot a, a vanilla shot during my otherwise world record run. That is a tragic reason to lose it. Yeah, it, I was never more upset with myself than that. Who who decided on vanilla extract and not just like something reasonable <laughs> like vanilla ice cream? Uh, Brams and ISO Freeze, two vanilla Super Mario World runners of old. They, yeah, I guess they. Thanks, fellas. Big fan of vanilla Super Mario World. Yeah. All right, so I need three. I'm doing three. Here we go. All right. While you're doing that, what is the world record for most powdered donuts eaten in three minutes? Oh wow, seven. Three minutes. Higher. Three minutes. I'm, in three minutes. I'm going with seventeen. Lower than that. 15. Lower. 13. 14. Lower. 12. 9. It's 9. 9 is correct. <laughs> All right. 10 seconds for Shepta. I don't think I can do that. Powdered is... Well, I have to donut every 20 seconds. Yeah, no. And pow like, yeah, that's hard. Non-powdered donuts, maybe. Powdered donuts, wild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for those wondering who it was by, it was by... L.A. Beast. Everyone knows who that is. We have a beast in our community. I don't think he, he does that, though. He does other beastly things. Yep. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think he's uh, ever consumed that many donuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I could not. I... That's a lot of donuts. That's, oh, I that is too much donut. Um, a month or two ago, I did a, I did a five k race, number three, um, sponsored by the donut place in my town, and halfway through the five k, you had to eat a dozen donuts. That's not easy. Uh, I did no. not. I, no. I got through like nine in like 15 minutes. I've, I've done both of those things independently. I, I would not want to intermingle them under any circumstances. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't think I could. And you had to do it all in under an hour, which I was like, oh, that's easy. I can do a 5K in like 35, 40 minutes easily. I could probably eat a dozen mm -hmm. donuts. And then you get there and it's like, no, no, I can't. All right. As soon as I finish this third one, I'm going back into the game. You kind of forget how quickly you get through the levels in Donut Plains, which makes eating the donuts a little more, like, trepidatious. <laughs> yeah. That, that wasn't the right good. word. Yep. All right. All right. Here we go. Back at it. <clears throat> I would be. I wonder if if you are allowed to eat during the levels mm -hmm. concurrently. I wonder what the meta would become in terms of like tool assisted eating mechanisms. <laughs> <laughs> like a Rube Goldberg machine that lasts the yeah, exactly of the like level. some wall to grab it nonsense. <laughs> Just have someone <laughs> shove it in your mouth while you play. <laughs> true. Well, then it's a co-op run. Oh yeah, true, true. There's actually a co-op run for this already, which is just you know. Each person eats half the food, more or less. More or less because there's some levels have like only one thing. <clears throat> that seems more. I like that uh, there's that a, a category, an entry level category. <laughs> Can I propose an extreme food percent, which nobody oh, should no. do. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, you cleared Donut Plains 2, you need to eat two donuts from that level. No, no. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. This is not medical advice. The donuts advice, have to be plain donuts. So speaking of speaking of a dozen donuts, um, 
there is a mythical version of this run which nobody has completed and only one person has attempted, which is all 96 exits. So right now, we visit, for example, every donut level, but we don't get every donut exit since the rules just say you need to visit every donut level once. But at 96, you actually have to get every donut exit, which, fun fact, brings it up to a dozen donuts. And oh, no. one person has tried and failed. No one's ever done a run. Because it already is, what, eight? Six or eight? I forget it's already. It's like eight or nine. Okay. You know, that doesn't seem that much more, but then it's it not, is when you think about the, the challenge becomes like geometrically increasing after a point. <laughs> it's not it's not yeah. linear all the way. Yeah. Are you allowed to choose the type of donut or does it need to be plain as in the name? Um, any full size donut. Okay. So my strat is jellies and creams just to make it, you know, a little a little more liquidy so it's not as dry. Um, there is a question in chat that I did not enjoy of, can the foods be blended? Nope. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's do another donut question. Aside from Dunkin' and Krispy Kreme, what three brands sell the most donuts in the United States? Oh gosh. Walmart, Kmart, 7-Eleven? No. None, None of, of those. <laughs> I, I just guess like big retailers. These are distinct like confectionery I see. companies. I, I struggle to think right now, which I guess is the point uh, of any <laughs> other like dedicated companies who would even make donuts. Um. Yeah, I'm completely blanking too. So one of these like donuts are is the thing I would think of them and it, like are, as their main thing. But two of them It's a donut. I have definitely had donuts that they've made. But these are all like donuts you would get in like the grocery store. Yeah, all like prepackaged stuff. I'm sitting in sugar and filth in my office chair. <laughs> <laughs> We're only 13 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun here. <laughs> How you doing, Shabda? Doing all right? I'm good. Okay. I hear you're consuming a donut. Yep. All right, so one of these three is uh what's a hint we can give that doesn't give it away i'm all for giving it away are, giving it are away? any of them okay. let's start there <laughs> wait what, is, what, does, that what does that mean in the term of like donut companies <laughs> <I'm terrified. laughs> I, don't know. Um, one company is probably most known for their cupcakes hostess that's one that's one of them oh entomans that's another that's another one. Oh, um you got this. Mm. I mm, I don't remember which exit goes where, which means I am at risk of having to eat an extra donut if I get it wrong. YOLO. I like that while this is happening, Chad is talking about whether or not you can get drunk off a delay <laughs> extract. <laughs> yes, it's the right exit. Yes, yes. Nice. All right, the third one is more famous for cosmic brownies. Ooh. Cosmic brownies. Oh, I've had those. Did. I've had those recently. I don't. Hmm. Oh, little Debbie. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's right. Twenty for BK. Ten for Shavda. Uh, there's a significant drop-off after those three, with Tasty Cake and Dolly Madison selling significantly less. What is Dolly Madison? <laughs> Former no First idea. Lady of the United States. I don't think it's that one. <clears throat> Alright, I'm out of jellies, switching to creams. They're owned by Hostess. That's cheating. That is. That does feel like cheating. 
They're most well known for like promoting themselves via peanuts. Like the comic strip. Okay. Today I learned. Tasty cake I have heard of though. Are we out of donut trivia now? I think we only had those two, right? I think we have one more. Is there another one? That's so we had much, a third one. That's so much donut. I could be wrong, but I thought oh, we had a do. third one. Yeah. I mean, we gotta do all the donut trivia when we're in donut planes. <laughs> I've got two donuts left. Also, nobody knows this one. But we're gonna ask it. <laughs> well, they, maybe our contestants will. You don't know. Okay. So they went one way to find out. Before rebranding to Dunkin' Donuts and subsequently Dunkin', the original store name focused on its coffee with what name? Mm. I just want to hear your best ideas for a, a coffee shop name at this point. They changed the name 74 years ago, so <laughs> you're not expected to actually know this. <clears throat> And it also lasted right. for two years, so you know, well, well-known stuff. That has some good ones. Aw, beans. That's a good one. Mm. Just like in the forties. Oh, let's go to Aw Beans. I like that. <laughs> Get being an idiot. Dr. Robotnik's mean bean machine. That's my that's my idea. Copyright, yeah. no one can take it. Yeah, I've I've never heard that before. That sounds good. <clears throat> the donuts don't taste good anymore. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Just in case anybody watching was curious. <clears throat> See, you gotta make it sound awful so you discourage chat from, from doing it at home. As somebody with a very low tolerance to sugar, I am like getting a headache thinking about <laughs> it, so... Alright, well, <clears throat> the answer to I this I don't think one, anyone's going to get yeah, this one. It I is, think this one is <clears throat> very difficult. It is Open Kettle. Um, started in 1948, rebranded to Dunkin' Donuts in 1950. So, you know, kind of surprised you didn't know that. Every, everyone knew the original store in Quincy, Mass. Back oh, wow. in the 40s. I was not going to get that one. Yeah, I have definitely never heard of that. Uh, if the Hypertext Coffee Proc Control Protocol was uh, released today, it would be called Open Kettle. <clears throat> True. That's a good reference. Shout outs to IETF, April Fool's RFCs. We asked that question last episode. We did it. We did. Oh, last donut. We're always uh. we're always asking about <laughs> HTTP control codes. <laughs> Your status codes. Yeah. Good luck on the last donut. Thank you. I'll need it. I'm fond of the um, TCPIP over carrier pigeon, over avian carrier. I love that one. As the text goes, you know. As a TCPIP connoisseur. I think all programmer jokes should be bird themed. Get this place to my interests. Yeah. There was um, a Kaizo mod released recently and one of its cape levels was called rfc whatever number that was <laughs> it was a cape level all right so so for morton's castle you have to uh, have a bunch of salt right <laughs> that's not a bad idea 
but no. Fortunately, we. <laughs> I think it is a bad idea. I think it's a bad idea. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to have a bunch of salt. You could just you know have like a sprinkle. One grain but of salt. It is thematically correct. <clears throat> fortunately, we we have nothing after Martin. It's a break before the hell that is Vanilla Dome. <laughs> So this, I've just, I've just consumed like 80% of the calories of the run. That's all donut planes. I'm actually going to close my donut box here. The rest of the stuff yeah, is really like... It, it is surprisingly front loaded, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> I guess that's good. The rest of the stuff is gross, but not, not as filling. <laughs> um, the great thing about this run is that all the serious like Super Mario World runners hate it and won't do it or can't do it and it's just us dgens who don't like really run <laughs> vanilla super mario world who who can put the food down and if there's ever like a person who can do both they will just bury this category so if you're like grinding out like pbs you just order like eight dozen donuts and just hope for the best oh god <laughs> and that's the interesting thing about this category you can't really practice it <laughs> <laughs> like imagine imagine getting to you know the level that I'm on right now and you die and you're way behind pace oh uh, reset oh, eat another oh, eight donuts <laughs> I'm trying to think of what what games you could do a similar thing in <clears throat> that would be perhaps slightly less <laughs> oh no like Court's been running the fresh hops uh uh Mario the SMW Kaizo, and that one seems fun. I would do that. <laughs> actually, I don't know how many. I don't actually know how many exits are in that. Maybe that would be a bad idea too. I'm not sure. The donuts are in done. a different way. No more donuts ever. I'm never eating another donut in my life. Congrats. Oh, thank you. It's a rematch next time. I oh. I can only think of one way to celebrate. Please no more donuts. And that is Mario trivia. Ooh. All right, thank God. Let's do it. What is the name of Yoshi's Topsy Turvy outside of North America? I don't even know what, what that is inside North America. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> the Yoshi's Topsy Turvy, you like tilt, it has like a tilt sensor. Yeah, it's a GBA game. My sister had it. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. There's like a Kirby one, I think, that used the same thing. Tilt and tumble, yeah. Yeah. Is it Yoshi Tilt and Tumble? No. It is not. It's a way weirder name. It is a very, like, pretentious name. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it honestly rules. <laughs> it's so funny. It's kind of a meme. Which is why I <laughs> thought of it. Um, just because it's so, like, hmm, quite. <laughs> it, it very much sounds like, like an 18th century, like, <laughs> physicist would have named it this. Um, like they discovered a true fact about the about the Mario universe. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, are we ready to start the vanilla? No. No. <laughs> nope. You think it you burns do, so good? You think you could do like a Celeste All Red Berries run? And just eat like 200 strawberries. Oh, that sounds good actually, yeah. right now. All right. Yoshi's Topsy Turvy outside of North America is Yoshi's Universal Gravitation. <laughs> yeah. So good. <laughs> what? You don't say. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's like there's like a popular meme where it's like two kids and one's like, oh boy, I can't wait to play Yoshi's Topsy Turvy. The other one's like, mother, bring me Yoshi's Universal <laughs> Gravitation. I must play. Um, but the game is good. Would recommend. <clears throat> You know, you all, I, I like, despite reading the rules on this recently, I did forget for a second that it is not, in fact, a shot of vanilla extract, because that's what you all kept saying. <laughs> 
It's uh, it's just a tablespoon. A teaspoon. How many ounces in a tablespoon? Third? Is a tablespoon one ounce? Two. So it is... So six... Wait, yeah. So six oh, tablespoons that's a burn. is a shot. <laughs> one tablespoon is one half of an ounce. <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah, so it's two tablespoons per ounce. So, and a shot is usually three ounces, right? Or is it four? Three, right? It's like two. Like one and a half is a what? shot. <laughs> but you're, really? you're doing teaspoons, right? It is one and a half. All right, never mind. <laughs> Let's say what? I'm Where are you going? I'm completely wrong. So I guess it is in fact... Like, so how many... How many vanilla extracts are there? Is it six? Uh, oh, sorry. more than that. I can't do math right now. <laughs> My mouth burns. It's more than that. <laughs> it's about. I, let me go to the. Let me go to the pace. It, it's then. like an. It's like an ounce and oh a half at most, which is still a lot. <laughs> so it's nine. I think it might be ten because you have to do one of the levels twice. Oh, it's one fourth teaspoon. That's not a tablespoon. That's a lot less. Yeah. But it's not, it is not, in fact, three shots of vanilla extract. <laughs> That's what I was concerned about. Personally, I think the vanilla extract burns very good after the uh, <laughs> donuts. Nope, it does not burn bad. <laughs> don't like it. I have to do it again. <laughs> Speaking of oh, vanilla, it's dripping all over my desk. <laughs> vanilla comes from what family of plant? Vanilla? I don't. Mm -hmm. I think that's the like, chemical uh, that gives it its taste. Oh yeah, you're right. The the burn 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 plant. <laughs> uh, mixing up One Piece references with this. Gumu Gumu no Planto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shep knows she got up to episode 18 before quitting. It's not somehow part of the, like, Cocoa plant, is it? Or Cocoa family? No. No, no. okay. It's kind of like a normal Maybe. flower. Well, spoilers, it is a flower, but... Kind of like how strawberries are in the rose family. Oh, I didn't know. Are that. they? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Imagine that. The only clue I know how to give for this is Dota themed. So I'm not gonna give a hint. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's fast. It's faster than a Dota. That's true. <laughs> Um, all right, so what is even up here? Yeah, I mean, oh, so this is another instance where if you could uh consume during the levels, it'd be interesting. You could have like a, a camelback, <laughs> you got to rip Peter. <laughs> yeah, I would not be able to focus on any like mentally intensive strat while my throat is being burned by uh vanilla extract. <laughs> uh. <laughs> This is a wonderful experience. I hope y'all are having fun. I'm glad we're here. Oh, it's on my mouse now. Cool. <laughs> Only two more. Only two more. I mean, this is going a lot faster than the donuts. It's true. have much for, for what this is. Apparently, it is a cosmopolitan plant that is found, found in every habitat on Earth except glaciers. That obviously oh, narrows it down. Interesting. Dandelions. No. Um, what else is there about this, this flower? I don't know. Any... Any botanists? Yeah, I don't know. It is the orchid. 
Oh, yeah. Poor kid. Okay. Vanilla means little pod. Makes sense. <laughs> that sounds Italian or something, then. Uh, hold on. Someone check Adam online. <laughs> Where does the word vanilla come from? Spanish, from oh. vanilla, meaning oh. little pod. Don't continue that sentence. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the etymology is definitely uh, interesting. Anatomical in nature. Mm. I knew this. I knew actually knew that one from Latin class. Mmm, butter. <laughs> mm. Butter? Are we on butter now? Oh, uh, we got it. Mm -hmm. Is it time for butter trivia? We'll do a reprise I, of I, the I other think ones and I, are, I think we're taking a different route from one another. Yeah, I do all of the top before going back into vanilla dome. You can save a vanilla for later then. Ugh. How many liters of milk does it make does it take to make one pound of butter? Sixteen. Fewer. Fewer. Uh twelve. Fewer. Nine. Four. Ten. Ten. Ten is correct. And for that. 10 seconds to PK. Yay. <laughs> I only got it because I'm flying over a level. I don't know if we have any more butter questions. It was kind of hard <laughs> to find butter trivia. That's fair. What's your favorite type of butter? I hate butter. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is margarine accepted for the category? <laughs> That's not true. I only hate butter today. <laughs> Usually I like some some nice salted butter, some bread. You know? Butter definitely seems like the worst part. But I guess it's, there's because uh, how much? I guess you don't have to have as much butter, right? Yeah, no. The original rules stipulated you uh, you take quote a sizable chunk out of a stick of butter. <laughs> a sizable. And chunk. we were like, this is one problematic, and two, it's subjective. So we're we're just not going to do that. Oh, Magic Koopa, get out of here. Magic Koopa, get out of here. I need to get in this door. Okay. The good news is I'm done with butter for the run. Nice. Very happy about that. I'm going to invent a time machine to, to go back to Nintendo in the mid-90s and be like, early 90s, and be like, hey, do you want to name a single one after a vegetable, please? <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is what we need in Mario. Vegetable-themed lands. Exactly. Are there vegetable-themed Mario stages? Surely, yes, right? I mean, there's, there's a bunch in SMB2 US, but they... Nothing has names, right? It's just... Yeah, I think there's, there's no, there's no overworld. Stuff. Yeah. New Super Mario... Newer Super Mario Bros. DS has Pumpkin Boneyard. Mm. According to the newer Mario's... This is, a, this oh, is yeah. not a real thing. Um, Super Mario Land 2 has Pumpkin Zone. Yeah. You know what I wouldn't give for some pumpkin right now? There's also Mario Zone, so do with that what you will. <sighs> so if we were to do New Super Mario Bros. U, you would need to eat an acorn, <laughs> a layer cake, <laughs> um, a giant skewer, so that's like a kebab. Mm hmm. Um, I guess that's it. Not as bad. Um, galaxy, you have good egg. You need to specifically have a good egg, not a bad egg. Okay. Uh, there's I sweet, feel like sweet that's galaxy. Or you just eat two sweets, I guess. A bad egg would be more interesting. You like wait for one to spoil and then you eat it, <laughs> or whatever the definition of bad is. Please no. I don't like that. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, at GDQ, I did have a candied pine cone, so I did succeed at whatever, whichever game that was. You said pine cone, right? 
That was an acorn. Acorn. Andy Maybe it was. Right. Yeah. Whoops. I got them mixed up. That sounds very um, Minnesotan. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Minnesotan. Don't, don't you know. So for, for Galaxy, you would also need to have honey for Honey Climb Galaxy. Sure, true. Something with gold leaf <laughs> for Gold Leaf Galaxy. Um, snow caps for Snow Cap Galaxy. Oh, that's good. I, I'll, I'll do that. I now. think that's it. Need to eat a frozen flame. I, oh, sorry. Um, and it looks like Galaxy Two is just mostly honey. Very honey <laughs> themed in Galaxy Two. All right, what did I just? Uh, cheese brujeria, cheese brujeria. Some cheese. Sunshine would be actually fun. Gelato. Gelato. Uh, Yonka. Corona. The beer. <laughs> That's, That's it. That's it, yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. I could go for that. That'll, that'll get me running, Sunshine. Be right back. <clears throat> I've never had cheese that was more delicious in my life than just now. What, what kind of cheese is on the docket today? Um, it was just some, like, mozzarella string cheese. Okay. But after everything else, it's so good. It's nice. like getting out of a 30-year stint in prison <laughs> and just like rolling around in the grass. Yep, exactly like that. <laughs> yep, been there. You're a poet. Wait. You understand the, the power of figurative speech, Shumna. <laughs> I, I absolutely do. It's true. I said figurative speech because I forget if that's a simile or a metaphor. One, one of them explicitly uses like or as, yeah, and the other one... Simile uses, uses yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was a simile, right. not a metaphor. Bram's hole. Mario Galaxy, all the moons that fall food. Bram's, uh, who, who co-created this category, just fell in that one tile hole during, I think it was a 960, either a 96 or a 960. And so we, we named it after him. That's the Bram's hole. You can simply hold B to run over it, but Bram's did not. A 960, by the way, is where you do 96 exit 10 times in a row. Did you know that they wouldn't let us add food percent to the SMW category <laughs> extensions because of leaderboard integrity? Mm. It's, wait, it's on there, though. It is now. That's good. It just required a, a small donation to the community prize pool. <laughs> now you gotta do a 10x food percent. Speaking of SMW, you wanna just give us a question that might break the question viewer. Oh boy, this might break the question viewer. What are the entries in the SMW Central Hall of Fame class of 2023? 2023? One of them's frog soup. That's correct. Frog emoji, soup emoji. Um, what else came out last year? Um, I could give you a 2018 one because I wrote the review for it. Um, this is something I should technically know because I'm on the committee that votes for them. But right now, <laughs> I'm, I'm so full of garbage that my mind isn't working. <laughs> oh, yeah. So since I, since I beat Soda Lake, I'm... Unlocking my ability to drink the soda, but I am not yet drinking the soda. But I can now if I want on the overworld. That's good. You don't have to do it all at once. Yeah. Just trying to think what else came out last year. That was good. Because a lot of things came out last year, just not all of them were great. <laughs> I say this as an SMW Central moderator. We both are. Um, nonsense, maybe? That's another one? Uh, How many are there? Uh, there should be like five, right? There's 11. There are 11. What? And I'm shocked that they are showing up correctly on our, our question display. Yeah, it, it looks display. good. It looks good.
All right. Should we start giving hints? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, one is a misspelling of a unit. Yeah, I guess so. What? <laughs> a, a, a unit used in electrical engineering. Oh, OHM. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that's not the name of it, though. Oh. The, that's the name of the unit, yeah, but not the name of it. It's an anagram. Oh, it's OMH, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because that hint. is. What? Oh, go ahead. Uh, that's uh, the midquel. There was a hack called RAC, R hyphen A T A K. And then the midquel is O M H. So it spells out ROM hack when you put them both together. Oh. Um, next hint uh, dystopian novel sequel. What? 1985. <laughs> it's the sequel to a, to a famous dystopian novel. It finally came out. In 2023. One of them is a Minecraft block. That narrows it down. That's true. Them are Brave New World 2, Cold Sweat and Tears, Day at the Turkey Races, Far a Day Near Dismay, Mycelium, Seek to Seek the Discrepancy, Tired Mario World, and Truk Bedul. Oh, I, I probably have, spit for I that one wrong. Truk Bedul, I think that was nice. One of my Yeah, that should have been. Yep. Yeah. Alright, last bit of vanilla here. Okay, it only kind of broke the question viewer. Yeah, it broke it a little bit, but it did it did, it, it did pretty good given what we threw at it. I'm impressed. Good job, question viewer. Truck Badool, by the way, is French for thingy. Yep. French for thingy. Oh. Get in my belly. Okay. What if you just have Yoshi eat the food for you? That is the best idea I've heard so far today. <laughs> that would probably be good. Is that like tool assistant? It might be. Maybe. We kind of missed the window for this one, but we can do it now. What is the most consumed type of cheese in the world? Mozzarella. Mozzarella? That's correct. That was I, at the exact same time. I think time. they both got it, yeah. <laughs> so you both get 10 seconds. <laughs> what is the uh, least consumed type of cheese in the world? Oh no, there's more vanilla. I forgot this path is also vanilla on top. Uh, 
Blue cheese would be my guess. I don't know. But it's I, probably I, I, not. I don't think there's an answer to that. But. Sardinian oh, okay. maggot cheese. Probably. I, 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 would I be, hate that it exists. I would be willing to put a buck on that one US dollar. There are a lot of types of cheese. It's illegal here, I think, because of the maggots. It is, yes. Something with uh, creatures in your food not being legal. I mean, come on. foods in any order, what would you pick? Um, honestly, the order isn't super bad. Maybe spread the donuts around. But, um, yeah, the fact that the calories go down towards the end is good, at least I think so. Um, there's a route you can take, which, which is the route that I'm taking, where you unlock the soda uh, right before the big cookie, and so you don't have to eat a big cookie dry. That's really advantageous for me. I always do that when I run this. Yeah, I'm pretty indifferent to the order as well. I just go with what it's in. If if I had to like come up with my own order, it might be donuts last. Just just get it done all at once, but at the end. Makes sense. Do you think Ramsey had this in mind while making the game? 100%. <laughs> Alright, I have unlocked my so soda. Sorry. Oh, soda? soda? We have so many soda questions. Do. Let's ask the soda question. What was the original <laughs> name of Pepsi? Pepsi Cola. It is completely no. unrelated to the word Pepsi. Okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> um. Oak sucks. <laughs> it was named after a person. Dr. Pepsi. <laughs> Dr. Pepsi would be pretty good. I think they should have kept the original name. Yeah. <clears throat> I could go for some of this. Um, right, ac actual last vanilla. This was Pepsi under this name was originated 131 years ago, and it went about as 1890s as you would expect for the original name. It is very uh, uninspired. Uh, good cola company. It is even less inspired. Putting that away. Mr. Cola. It, it doesn't even reference that it's a cola. Baron Munchausen. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, that's not it. I, I feel it in your voice. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Holy crap. Thank you, BK. For what? That made me lose it. Oh, okay. I don't know how we get more hits for this one, Swiss. Uh, you know. The answer is Brad's drink. Would not have gotten that in a million years. <laughs> what, what was it? Brad's drink. Oh. 
It's funny it's because the person who created it, his last name was Bradham, not even his first name. All right. So it's just part of your last name's drink. You know, good for you. I'm a big fan of Brad's drink. Man, it's a fun name. They should bring it back. Like, you know, they do like, like, uh, the retro. The retros, yeah. Bring back Brad's drink. <laughs> I'm all for it. Do I do another soda naming question? For some reason, we have more than one. <laughs> Sodas have rich name history. What was the original name of Pib Extra? Ugh. All right. Does it still time. have something to do with Pib? No. It, it does not. It's more closely related to a different soda. Bonus pepper. Pretty close. That is the correct reference. <sighs> oh, the soda makes the butter just a little bit less bad. <laughs> just a little bit less bad. Um, better pepper. No. Nope. It was also not. Please, Mr. Pib is my father. Call me Pib. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately. Good. That's the next one. All right, Butter. I think that uh, um, they should follow like, Pac-Man naming after Mr. Pib. <laughs> Miss Pib. <laughs> Pib World 2. Pib Jr. Dave Champion Edition DX. <laughs> oh, I hated that. <clears throat> I can't tell if you all are tied. I think we, it's hard to tell because we took a different route, I think. Yeah. Exactly. But I can't say the original name of Pib Extra was Peppo. <laughs> It was changed to Mr. Pib after Dr. Pepper sued for trademark infringement. <laughs> At this point, how many uh, food-related stages are even left? Is it just the uh, chocolates? Um. Yep. Yep. Just yep. the chocolate. So. But really, the, the food part of the run is over, and it's it's up to how we play the game after this, more That's or less. Good. Shabza, did you get the uh, Ludwig cycle skip? No. No. I'm going into Ludwig right now, actually. Okay. Cycle skip! Are, All right. Are if, you going if to any of my, I just got it. If any of my uh, SMW Vanilla Runner buddies are, are watching, that was for you. I'm gonna finish off my soda as soon as we get onto the overall. Then I just got my chalky bits. When we were at SGDQ at some restaurant, Shubda ordered uh, chalky milk verbatim, and we <laughs> laughed at her. And then the waiter came in and said, Here's your chalky milk, ma'am. <laughs> That's true. Was it good? That's good. It was very good. You know, do you know how many cocoa beans are required to make one pound of chocolate for use in chalky milk? 64. All right. So does that. 128. Even more. Oh my God. More and uh, it's not a multiple. It's not a power of two. Oh. <laughs> uh, 200. Uh, that's all. No. Uh, uh. Four. 2,000. Less. 1,000. Less 500. Was that but wait? 500. 500. I, I said. And they, I said 1500. Yeah, it's less for both. Uh, less, less than both. 400. That's it. Correct. 
Yay. Nailed it. First try. That seconds for BK. Again, during a flyover. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think you need an entire pound of chocolate to make chalky milk, but... I... I could. That would be more like... I mean, it depends on how much you're making. Like, milkish chalky. <laughs> you have to invert the adjective and noun. And you add milk to your chocolate. Yeah. Are we approaching a point where we can take our first break, by the way? Um... How long of a break are you thinking? Just five minutes. Give the people time to go to the bathroom. Um, that's gonna be yeah. in... in like 15, 20 minutes, I would estimate. If that's right. too long, then we can figure something out earlier. Uh, that should work. I mean, we, we right. just pause at the same time and resume at the same time if needed. That's kind of what I was, uh... Yeah. What we usually do. Are we, like, 15, 20 minutes from the end of, of uh, 3%? Yeah, that's what my estimate is based on. Oh, then we can just see it through. Okay. I did, I did not know we were that close. <clears throat> yeah, this is going surprisingly well, all things considered. For me, anyhow. And there's a lot of things to consider. The donuts, primarily. <laughs> I'll just consider the donuts. Fun fact, last time we raised food percent, we had a third participant named Link that Act 2 who decided to, uh, in order to make the food go down better, especially the donuts, decided to do jumping jack. Ugh. That was, no. that was not, not a good idea. No. Just give us another trivia question. Let's do a Mario one. Which games were released in honor of Luigi during the year of Luigi? Uh, New Super Luigi U. That's one. That's one of them? Uh, was there a Luigi's Mansion like three or something like that? There was three. one of them. Uh, Dark Moon? Yep. That's right. Was there more than those two? There are two more. Oh my god. <clears throat> Ooh, where's the nearest cape? Might be the checkpoint in FOI 1. I have to do Roy Fly. I have to do Roy Fly for the vanilla speedrunners of this game, my brethren. I have to show them respect. I'm gonna do Roy Fly. Don't you worry, fellas. Just gotta get this cape. There are two more Luigi games. The one where he's sucking up ghosts? No, that, that one's older. Right? That was what was already said. Yeah, that was Luigi's Mansion 2. Alright, here we go. Roy Fly. <clears throat> So, yeah, I can... one of them is part of a long term Luigi related series, and the other one is a Luigi version of a game that used to have Mario in its title. Yeah. A pretty old game at that. It's not like a Luigi's is missing or something, is there? No, but that would be awesome if they made that. What a... You know what? That's most of a Roy Fly. We take those. Oh, yes. I'm I'm thinking, I'm just <laughs> And there's also like technically one extra bonus one, but not really.
Since this is technically a speedrun, I should take a minute to uh, talk about the actual speedrun tech that, that I performed there. There's a very long block snake ride through the castle, which is the intended solution, and it saves like, I don't know, a minute if you just fly through it like that. You gotta time the initial fly uh, in particular because there's that cluster of potobos which will get you. And what you want to do is you want to dive at about the fourth column in the background. That's the visual cue that most runners use. Yeah, as a reminder, we are doing this as fast as humanly possible. Sometimes we forget that in the midst of eating all of the food. What is the current world record of food percent? For this category? Yes. Shovda has, uh, what is it, like one high 130s? Yep, something like that. Oh, this is very good pace then. <clears throat> My... My almost world record, where I got disqualified for, uh, what do you call it? Missing a, a vanilla thing. Right, I'm gonna eat a chocolate. For missing a thing of vanilla was a 134, so... I'm blank, and I only had had the two in mind. Luigi helps Yoshi commit tax fraud. Close. That was the year after. Dang. <laughs> uh, the one, the one in the series, that same series, is getting another game this year. No, that was bad. It's not. No, I don't like that. It's not a Mario and Luigi game, is it? It is. It is. Yeah, oh. Which one? God, which one came out that year? Uh, Inside Story. Uh, partners in time. Partners in nope. crime. I think it's nope. the one in between those two. I always forget this one exists. Another piece of chocolate. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this, unfortunately. It is Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Dream Team. Okay. Dream Team. And the last one is Dr. Luigi. Oh, there was a Dr. Took Luigi? I did not know either of those. Yep, it's just Dr. Mario, but Luigi's there, and there's, like, another mode that's where worse. Did he, where do you no. go to medical school? Same thing. Um, is, it is it accredited? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Uh, and the little bonus one was like Luigi Bros. That's in Super Mario 3D World. That's like kind of there. They also uh, took over a CTA train here in Chicago and called it the Luigi Line. And I would have counted that. <laughs> My favorite game was the train. The train. I, think that was, like, I never a got to ride the thing. Luigi Line. I'm very sad about it. And I never will because Nintendo's too cowardly to do the year of Luigi again. They knew it was too powerful. <laughs> we need more year of Nintendo or, uh, Mario characters. I agree. We're overdue for like, what if what if they did like a year of Toad? <laughs> There's a bunch of Toad games. Yeah, we had Captain Toad. Exactly. And that's it. Yeah, I guess that is it. What about year of Daisy? Give Daisy some games. Um, that is 20 seconds though for shoved up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and new Super Luigi U. Speaking of Daisy and her only appearances ever, that's true. Which sport has the most games with Mario in the title? Tennis. It is tennis. That's right. And for Shabda, there are eight Mario tennis games. Golf is in second with seven, as NES Open is called Mario Open Golf in Japan. And there are six Mario and Sonics at the Olympic Games. 
Well, I guess Olympics would have been in third place. The Olympic my favorite sport. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of tennis. All pretty good games too. And then there's Ultra Smash. Hey, you know, seven out of eight, eight ain't bad. I never played Aces. I don't know if that one was good. It was okay. Yeah, it was. It was just okay. I wish they were. They. I want them to do another. Oh, please make that was another very bad. Sports RPG Nintendo. They're so good. Almost fell in the Dunkachino pit. Shoutouts to Truman. Shoutouts to Gim Gimno. For purposes of the question, uh, Mario Kart does not count. Ah, uh, fair. It's like technically a sport, but like, eh. Not as interesting of a question as well. Yeah. All right. Chalky Island 2. Mushbert can be found only in what Mario spin-off game? Mushbert? The character Mushbert. That sounds made up. Are you sure that are you sure <laughs> not mess some of those? I feel like this game was made up. Uh Super Paper Mario. No. Uh Mushbert, right? It sounds surprisingly familiar. It really does, but like, when you figure out the game it's from, it probably won't. Fair. It helps at all. Uh, Mushbert is a known fan of the hit TV show Toad Force 5 and enjoys finding collectible memorabilia from the show. To Toad's Treasure Tracker? Nope. Was the question a Mario game? I guess that's not technically a Mario game, right? Yeah, it is specifically a Mario spinoff. I see. <clears throat> we blocked Dupin, by the way, and I ran out of shell to block Dupin with. Why are you duping? Uh, to get a cape. Yeah. Alright. I'm still thinking, uh, is it the Mario game for the Virtual Boy? No. No. It's after the Virtual Boy. After the Virtual Boy. But before the Switch. Nice, easy range. <laughs> That's a lot of them. Alright, I'm Choco Fort. <clears throat> this just in case not that cape is really I'm gonna do a lot past this level let's say for me I believe the series this is it this game is part of the like side spin-off series has like 14 games in it if that helps at all what yeah. 
I might be slightly off. It's at least it might be more. <laughs> 13. It honestly might be more. There's a Mario side series with 13 games and there's a you said Toad Bird? Mushbird. Oh Mushbird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen oh games God. in this series. Uh, if you include the one that is to release later this year. What? Really? Yep. It's safe to say it's a pretty, pretty big side series. Apparently. My goodness. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so, uh, Paper Mario 64. I wish there were Paper Mario does not have 19 games. games. I, I, <laughs> I want to live in the timeline you're living in. I was figuring we were counting all of the RPGs as one series for a second. <laughs> I, I have no idea, though, unfortunately. Some moles fall on you from the top. Don't get hit by them. Made a mental oh, note of that. I will do my best. Mushbert is from Mario Party Advance. Oh, no. Yeah, that is familiar. Uh, apparently at the end of the game, it is said that he outgrew Toad Force 5 and started watching Koopa, Ko Koopa Quest. Good oh. to watch Koopa Quest, I that's good. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Um, apparently there's a quest in Mario Party Advance where you have to go to Mushbert's apartment to get a rare Toad Force 5 DVD. Um, but he doesn't really care about giving them away, as he has 49 more. And then after completing the quest, you find out that only 50 of the DVDs were made. So it is implied that Mushbert has all of them. A true fan, honestly. Mario Party Advance is one of the worst-rated Mario Party... Or worst-rated Mario games of all time. Yeah. We're going to be coming up on time for me. So, as oh my goodness. I, as soon as I finish eating this piece of chocolate. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we need a year of Mushbert. I agree. The world is the world is ready. <laughs> We're gonna be coming up on time for me too after overworld and eating this piece of chocolate. Time and world record. Congratulations on the world record for food for set live here. Live on world record. Fast. On GDQ. This has actually we have never had that happen on our <laughs> show where we try to make people mess up their runs by giving them trivia questions. I don't think we've ever had a PB before. <laughs> and time so and PB. <laughs> now we've had two. Double PB. Record. Actually, I guess I, since this was close, um, I guess we're supposed to add up the um, the quiz. Yeah. Uh, bonus it might be that. Let's, let's see. It might be. It This might be one of you getting world record, but the other one running the race, which is a <laughs> wild thing to have happen on our show. All right, your final trivia adjusted times are in. In second place with an adjusted time of 113.34 is BK. And because of trivia, first place for this race with a 113.21 is Shavda. So Wahoo. congratulations congrats off on, of trivia. But, congrats um, on winning the event, Shavda. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats on world record. Yeah, I guess if you I guess if you want to submit this to the, the leaderboard. Despite uh, not winning the race, you so, do have world record. Normally we joke about people submitting their trivia adjusted times to the leaderboards and like, oh, you get world record if you submit it your trivia adjusted time, just petition them. But no, you just did it for real. Yeah, easy. Ooh. Uh, don't go anywhere, gamers. We have another race coming up right after this. It's going to be the most before then. delicious glass of water I've ever drank. <laughs> yeah, please hydrate. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let we're gonna take a break so that uh, both of them can like get some water, walk around for a bit, think about <laughs> something that isn't nine donuts. Uh, before then, we got a couple announcements, isn't that right, Swiss? We do. 
such as you can join the official GDQ Discord and add the hotfix role, where you can keep tabs on upcoming events, talk with staff and showrunners, and more. Use exclamation point Discord in Twitch chat for more info. If you missed out on any of our shows or events, be sure to check out the VODs at youtube.com slash games done quick. We'll be right back with more Think Fast. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Think Fast, the speedrunning game show of fast times and sharp minds. If you're just joining us, I'm your host, Corva May. And I'm Swoose, also your host. We're back with yet another race. This time, let's give up 100%. Nobody has to eat anything this time. And they got through the last one so quickly that we have extra time, so we changed the category to 100%. It's a lot of not giving up. I keep forgot how the game works. It is not enough to simply beat the game the fastest. Our runners are answering our trivia questions as they play. And the more questions they get right, the more seconds we take off their time. All of you watching at home, feel free to continue playing along in chat. How are y'all feeling after race one and before race two? Good, I assume. Pretty full. Yeah, took a bit out of me. Y'all just want to get right into Let's Give Up? Sure. For sure. All right. And without further ado, it's time to think fast. In three, two, one, go. So tell us about this, uh, Death on this Super Wii. Mario World fan game. Oh, so I made this. And the lore is fairly concise. <clears throat> Here's Yolo Yasu chan an icon of the speedrunning and uh, modding community. And uh, he doesn't think Mario's endeavor is worth it, and he advises Mario to just give up. More on that later. I mean, honestly, I, I'm here for it. If it sucks, hit the bricks. <laughs> you can just leave. There are two people that I know of who have quit this hack and have kept up with the uh, Yellow Yasu Chan's advice to them. Among the maybe 100 I know who have finished it. They're the only people who got the true ending? Yeah. So, I, I assume Shoved is doing the same route as me, uh, but if not, this is post-game content, and for routing reasons, um, I and probably she is also doing it first. Um, so this trick where you, you toss an item and try to keep flight, which is what I'm trying to remember how to do here, uh, is actually pretty tight because you need to do it uh, within a 7 frame window which starts at 9 frames after a cape pump. And since this game runs at uh, 60 frames per second, that's, you know, like tens of milliseconds. It's not, it's not great there. I pulled one off. I have to do three of those without dying to beat this fight and also like not collide with, with these boos in the boo ring. I guess worst case, you could always just take your own advice. Could. I already clinched that one world record today and could just quit while I'm ahead. True, true. Could just get another world record. Not happening. Uh, world record <laughs> has has uh, two deaths for this category, and I have died several times. All right, Spoosh, got a trivia question for us? I do. What is the name of the bulldog mascot of Mug Rootbeard? I didn't know that had a name. <laughs> uh, Bully. Dog. No. Doge. That was very close. Close. It's not just dog, is it? It is it just is dog. dog. <laughs> One second for some dog. <laughs> Uh, my donuts are coming up. <clears throat> Imagine like the like the Don Draper meeting where they came up with that genius <laughs> advertising play. So as BK alluded to, we start with the hardest levels in this uh, category. So you're going to see a lot of deaths to start off, and then it's going to level off before getting hard again at the end. But uh, this level's uh, level's pretty tough. 
a lot of capes, it seems. Oh, this is uh, this is a cape mod, so everything is. I see. Just that makes light. sense. Yo, know, dog, dog from Mugger Beer has lore. Oh. Okay. Tell tell me tell so me this is lore. Contact.pepsico.com. Who is dog? Dog is more than just a mascot. He's the beloved face of the Mug Root Beer brand. Solely focused on one main mission of seeking satisfaction in the form of Mug Root Beer, Dog is bold and determined, but also loves to relax and socialize with people. Despite his gruff, strong exterior, Dog is an emotional character who just wants to feel comfortable and loved. I feel oh. like I'm reading an AI generated dating profile. <laughs> Like that. That's you like a DM and it just says all that. So next time you look at what group here, now you know. Dog just wants to be left. That was such a mug moment we all shared. Now suppose who makes mug group here? Uh, Pepsi. Pepsi. No. What is the name of Pepsi's competitor to the Coca-Cola freestyle machine? The what? <laughs> I honestly I did not know they had one. I didn't know they had one either. So you know the Coke freestyle machine? The uh, like, create your own Coke flavor thing? Kind of. And like, it's like a big touch screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pepsi has their own version of it. What is its name? The Pepsi Create Your Own? The, the, no. The Pepsi Go. Pepsi Go would be a pretty good uh, mobile game, I think so. Oh, the PSP Go. True. I would not have guessed this one, if you, if, to be honest. <laughs> Imagine if Pepsi was a roguelike deck builder. Play the Pepsi. Pepsi the Gathering. Quite the opposite. No, but kind of the opposite. Exactly. Pepsi the Spire? It is Pepsi Spire. <laughs> oh, wow. 10 seconds for Shavda. I feel like Coke Freestyle is a much better name. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 100%. But Pepsi Spire, Pepsi Spire sounds like, um, like their what their headquarters should be named. <laughs> apparently, meet me in the Pepsi Spire. Apparently, there are three thousand one hundred and forty-eight Pepsi Spire locations in the U.S. I've never seen. I have one. never seen one either. Where are they? Uh, apparently, Subway. Except, oh. never mind. It is served in many subway locations in various countries. In the United States, most that are under contract with Coca-Cola do not use this. Well, yeah, obviously, but... Okay, well... So, subways that are contracted with Pepsi, I guess? Interesting. Um, that explains why I've never seen one. Yeah. And they have, uh, they have mug root beer. They have Sobe Life Water. And a Dole Kiwi cocktail, and then like everything else you expect. I didn't know Sobe still existed either. Yeah. You gotta go find your local Pepsi Spire. When, when you say Pepsi Spire, I think of Spire, the zero unit from StarCraft, but instead of <laughs> spilling out like the green, the green homing missiles, it like just spurts Pepsi. <laughs> All right, modders, you know what to do. <laughs> Shavda, have you beaten and then you die by now? Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm just finishing a slow mantra now. Yeah. Before, uh, like an hour before this began, I predicted that I would win food percent and Shavda would win this. And I think it is coming to pass. So where is Speaking the of things that have... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to ask where the nearest uh, Pepsi Spire is to uh, SGDQ. No, I'm that. not going. Is there, is there a Pepsi Spire locator? Yeah, I'm looking. Apparently there is. I'm not going to that no. with you. Don't take me to it. Okay. Where's the closest one to a GDQ? True. Assuming it stays in the same location as last time. Um, all right, 
actually don't it's know. It's a bit more relevant right now, yeah? Apparently Pepsi Peach is a thing now. Unrelated, but... Yeah. That sounds cool. I don't think there is a Spire locator. That's messed up. Yeah. Let's see what the Pepsi subreddit has to say. So, fun fact, BK here is from New York City. Well, and when he... Here. I just lived here for 30 years. Okay, he's essentially from New York City. And when he came to SGDQ, he had me, who drove an hour and a half to get to SGDQ, because I live in Minnesota. He had me drive him down to Rochester, Minnesota, to try New York-style pizza so that he could have authentic <laughs> New York pizza in Minnesota. That's a very good That's bet. Good. <laughs> it's true. It was all right. It wasn't... Uh, if I knew it was going to be like that, I wouldn't have made her drive all the way. <laughs> their, their stromboli, though, was actually top-notch. A pleasant surprise. It was good enough that he bought two t-shirts to I celebrate. Did. I'm wearing one now. My, my Pascal's of Rochester, Minnesota t-shirt. If you guys want to sponsor me, Here's your chance. Go to Pascal's for banging stromboli and all right pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what a tag <laughs> review. We have all right pizza. All right. Um, there is a Pepsi Spire locator, but the page doesn't work, so there is not. Actually that's one. not. So, so it's not. Spire stock's not on the up right now, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. This is from official.pepsispire.wiki. I hate when I build the Pepsi Spire and then every all the sodas get, have to be translated in different languages. All right. Mario games have been featured on Think Fast five times across four episodes. Who were the winners? Shoujo won one, right? Shoujo didn't technically okay. compete against anyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why I was counting her. <laughs> she does, so she doesn't count. Aw. Sorry, Jojo. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not sure who else. Um, if I had to throw a random guess, I'd go like 360 Chrism or something. No. You could also pivot the questions into what Mario games have we had on the past before. Super Mario World, Mario 64, oh. Super Mario RPG. Oh. Alright, we have that Mario RPG. Yoshi's Island. None of the other ones. Oh. Well, we have Mario World today, oh. but that doesn't really, that's... Also, uh, you cannot guess shoved him as an answer for this. <laughs> Not in the system. Yeah, we, we didn't know when we wrote the question. Oh. Oh. Did Void win the SMRPG one? No. Uh -huh. um, for the SMRPG one, we had Remake versus Original, and it oh, was wow. Pidge versus Headstrong. I'm gonna guess Pidge one then. Incorrect. <laughs> oh, then it was Headstrong. All right. Correct. Headstrong is one. All right. Another game we had on was Odyssey. Uh, fur. No. I'm not sure how this runs Odyssey. Ram 55, our Truman. Nope. Oh. That was our first ever Mario and Food episode. We have, in fact, done this theme <laughs> twice. Yeah. Oh, no. Except that and one was, was more mistake. like culinary instead because, of uh, yeah. food. But. Because the person who won that episode went to culinary school. We just didn't know that. Oh, huh. Uh, Bakla soup? No. Mm. I mean, if we also had bird trivia, they would have done very well as well. Uh -huh. That's true. So that one was dangerous. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay. We also had Paper Mario on. The original Paper Mario. Original. I'm blanking on who runs Paper Mario. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> that one was Jay Cog. We also had Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, Panga? Kappa? Rams? No. Nope. No. <laughs> I'm just naming, like, the only people I know who run it <laughs> in hopes that one of them is, like, notable in it. That one was SB. And then 3D World was our last one. 3D World. I guess it was 3D World and Bowser's Fury, but... That is true. It was and Bowser's Fury. Same game. Was it Authors Lose, was it? No, it was not. Okay. Oh, okay. That one was Jossaray. Who? Did you say? 3D World Runner. Jossaray. Jossaray. Okay. We are unfortunately stuck in our uh, little SMW hidey holes <laughs> as far as knowledge goes when it comes to Mario games. Yeah, more or less. I'm a, I'm a little bit more aware of other people, but, you know. How about real world people? As if those real world people? Um, so this is a multiple choice. So you will both get one guess and then if you both get it right, you both get points or not. But two of these are not featured in the SNES version of Mario's Time Machine. Choices are Plato, Marco Polo, George Washington, or Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, Gandhi. Mm. Just to be different, I'm gonna go with Marco Polo. Is George Washington. I remember the Marco Polo is definitely in there because I played it. I wasn't sure about the other ones. Um, Thomas Jefferson represents that time period instead, and his artifact is the Declaration of Independence. Gotcha. Um, Gandhi's is the flag of India, and I don't remember what the other ones are. Um, when I was young, I didn't know how to play that game, so I just... Uh, drove the time machine over the ocean for hours at a time, like a dumb child. I it's, thought it was a platformer. Like, without the manual, that game was very hard to it's play. It's such a bad game. game. <laughs> yeah. I tried passing it, and I just got bored of passing it. Oh, oh no. Um, basically, for those who don't know, the loop, the gameplay loop of Mario's Time Machine, on the SNES at least, is um, you do homework, I believe it is called homework in game. And you awesome. um, basically it gives you like a fill in the blank, like essay about like the given person. You fill in all the blanks. You go surfing over like, I don't know, something. You collect a couple, you collect 10 shells. You go to that place and then you like talk to the historical person and that's it. And you do that like 15 times. Oh wow. I love video it's games. Rough. <laughs> Why are we having that on Think Fast? <laughs> no. Also a short we run. Should have, we, we need to have an educational game on this show. We do. I loved playing then, that when I was like already in school, so I had like two sets of homework. <laughs> one of them was my video game homework and the other one was my actual school homework. 
it is. I think one we of the do games. we do an, we do an educational game episode, and then instead of us asking tri us asking trivia questions, we just ask like uh, how certain game mechanics work. The <laughs> first. I'm not ready. That would be bad. We're not going to be doing that. We'll workshop it. Hey, this one's recent news. This one? Oh yeah, it's true. What indie game just recently outsold the original Super Mario Bros? Oh, I just saw this. Undertale? No. Not no. Undertale. Oh, uh, Terraria? Yeah, that's it. That's right. Nice. Terraria's sick. I love that game. Good for them. Um, 20 for Shavda. They've sold 58.7 million copies so far, and their last, 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 last update is coming soon. This one for sure. This definitely yeah, could be the one last more one. Update, trust me, yeah, one more update. Sure. One, 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 one more update. One, two, three. Point. <laughs> I think the next one's 1. 1.5. Wow. And then we're gonna oh. get 1.5.1, 1. 1.5.2. 1. Uh -huh. At this point, Terraria is like what? It's like 12 years old. I want to say it came out in like 2010. Was it 2010? It definitely came out when I was in high school. It's 2011, so 13 years now. 13 years old, yeah. Whew. Good game. You know, it's even older than 13 years old. We're just gonna keep keep them coming, I guess. Yeah, go for it. What university was Gatorade developed at? University of Florida. That's right. Why do you know that? Like immediately. Be because it's the Florida Gators. Florida Gators yeah. yeah. Huh. What for Shavda? I didn't know. What did what did the notes like say? Swiss. Meant Gator. Notes. Okay. The notes say court frozen frozen flygon reference. Triple yeah. question mark. Yeah. Also, you got to remember, I played high school football. DK, oh, I know yeah. things. Yeah, you did. Do they teach you about the history of Gatorade? Heck yeah. <laughs> I like this one. According to the Food and Drug Administration, what type of soda is Dr. Pepper? Its own type, isn't it? And what would that be? Uh... God... I used to know this. No! Oh, you hate to see it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to come up with the type name, unfortunately. It is more direct than you might think. Is it just Dr. Pepper? No, it is, it is a type of soda, technically, but... What are the types? I guess, like, cola would be one. This one, this one's unique in its own way. It's more obvious of an answer than you might think. Yeah. Baking, baking soda. What? <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> I hope not. Could you bake with it though? Could you bake with a Dr. Pepper cake? I um, have seen it done before, yes. I've seen Would that seven, up, seven Up Pound Cake. That's a thing, so why not Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper There pound you go, cake. that makes a baking soda. Yep. <laughs> Oh, no way, I got the fast strat here first try. Let's go, gaming. And then I died. Alright, officially, Dr. Pepper is considered a pepper soda. What? On. Yep. <laughs> yep. Pepper as in the vegetable, the seasoning? I I don't know. 
This one's good. This one is good. What are the different relay race team names that have been featured at mainline GDQ events? Uh, Groovy Goomba, Funky Fuzzy, RNG Dolphin, and uh, Double Jump Dinos, and One Tile Men, and Lunar Magicians. That's all yeah, six. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Were you on every single one of those? No, I was on yeah, two of them. Two out of three. Okay. Thirty for Shepta. Uh, I, yep. I thought that would take longer. <laughs> There's a lot of soda ones. What soft drink was replaced in 2023 by Starry? Um, crush? Crush even a soft drink? I don't even know. It is. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, I really need to use the restroom, so I'm still gonna win this race, but you gotta give me one minute. <laughs> <laughs> so smug. <laughs> this is your perfect opportunity to, uh... This your, this, you have a solo question yeah. now. If you just know what soft drink was replaced in 2023 by Starry. I... yeah. <laughs> they start with the same letter. True. It was the... it was Pepsi's competitor to Sprite. I think. Uh, well, no. Was it? It was. Sorta. Oh, it just, it just was. 7-Up? Okay. No, 7-Up is an RC Cola. Right? It's Dr. Pepper. It's Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I, I was also thinking it's, of that. I was like, hang on, is that is it just seven up? It's the it's fourth not. one. Also had a very similar name to Mountain Dew, in a way. Some yeah. Name to Mountain Dew. I guess in term of location plus type of water. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> wait, why is she being so smug? I I just peeked over at her stream. She's not even that far ahead. <laughs> We're tied now. <laughs> there you go. What would be the best? Give give me your best location plus water <laughs> or type of water names for sodas. And now I'm ahead. I'm thinking... Fjord Puddle. Tundra <laughs> Fog. Tundra Fog is good. That, that's like a... That's like a store brand. Like... Yeah. Sewer Bilge is very bad, chat. No points for that one. I hate it. Boston Sludge. Ocean Boston. Spray. <laughs> That's oh, Boston thing. is a location. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I didn't want a proper down location. I meant like what a is Boston? geographical feature. Archipelago uh, drops. <laughs> Mesa moisture. <laughs> Anyways, this was Sierra Mist. Oh! Yeah, it was one that I was actually aware of that I could have conceivably gotten had I been thinking about it hard. All right, y'all want the easiest one we have? Bring in a Sierra Mist. Yes, please. Oh, you're back. Hello. Hello. 
what you Why were you so smug about about winning? We're, we're like Ty when you said that. Oh, for the meme. Okay. <laughs> what U.S. state produces the most cheese? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. It's Wisconsin. I think you both got that. Time for time, right? Oh, time for both. Yeah. Uh... I don't think we have any other ones. Other ones that are that easy. No, this one is. All right, you ready for another extremely easy one? Yep. According to the Harvard Dialect Survey, what is the most preferred term for soft drink in the United States? Pop soda. It's soda. Probably soda. And for BK. Pop is like if you're British, maybe. I say pop. Yeah, pop is like a northern U.S. thing, or like north, northeastern, northern Midwest, I think. Huh. Good to know. Because I know they yeah, say I'm pop in, in like I'm western in like the, I'm in like the soda slash pop interchangeable bubble. <laughs> and in the south, it's just Coke. God damn it. Do you ever get really mad at yourself from like four years ago? <laughs> Not I can't say I have. Yeah, listening to BK practice this in the practice room at GDQ was great because he would just be uh, kind of cussing himself out. <laughs> Who made this? <laughs> Yo, got the fast sticky, let's go. What else do people call soft drinks? Um There's like a there's like not a there's there's some like international not uh, terms. Uh, there's fizzy drink, mm -hmm. cool drink, Brad's drink, soda pop, uh, the uh, carbonated drink, fizzy juice, lolly water, lolly seltzer, water. coke, tonic, oh, and I mineral. I like lolly water. <laughs> I'm gonna try to remember that and just <laughs> order that. And then, like, Sprite is called lemonade in some countries. Huh. I second shove does, huh? huh. Tonic? Speaking of uh, geolo geological formations and states of water, Mountain Dew was intended to be used as a mixer for what liquid? Vodka. Liquor. For what liquor? Sorry. I mean vodka. Vodka. It's not vodka. No. Oh. Uh, moonshine, I guess, technically. No. It's kind of what the branding made it out to be, but... Scotch. Right. Scotch is close. Whiskey. Yeah. Yep. Funny for BK. Of all the questions I got right, it was an alcohol one. <laughs> <laughs> off character, it's off brand. I don't think I've ever had a Mountain Dew whiskey. Me neither. I sure haven't. <clears throat> How many exits are there? Uh, eight in in the hack and in this run. In the gotcha. fan game. Mm-hmm. That, that that's what was said. We all heard it. Yep. <laughs> so we're we're doing all eight. 
Wow, which one? Are, how many are we at? Uh, I don't know where Shubb is at. I'm at... Uh, the second to last one. Same. Up. I just entered Roscoe's house of switches and waffles. I like when places have very specific names. I think more more <laughs> places should do that. You know exactly what you're getting. Speaking of specific places, where does LaCroix originate from? La Crosse, Wisconsin, maybe? That is correct. Holy cow. 20 seconds for Wait, what did you say? La Crosse, Wisconsin. Huh. I did see that that was I was just there. looking for Wisconsin. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I thought that was going to be harder. <laughs> Uh, I did see that uh, on the on the flight map on the way to and from SGDQ. I didn't I didn't think to relate it to the drink. <laughs> uh, where does um, the game lacrosse originate from? Uh, that I have no idea. Britain. I actually I don't I don't actually know. It's a, oh okay. It's like indigenous Native North Americans. Ah, yes, that is correct. Oh, huh. Could not be more opposite. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone's favorite uh, LaCroix flavor? <clears throat> hint of, hint of strawberry. Whisper of melon. Oh. Low battery banana. <laughs> you made that up. They don't call their stuff that. No, they don't. You're right. They should. That'd be fun. I like the key lime one. <laughs> I've been drinking a different brand. They have a, bl a blackberry lemonade one, and it's killer. Oh. Interesting. It's really good. Into the lava. Yeah, shout out to Wisconsin, making cheese and also the curry. What more do you need, I guess? And it's where uh, Hank Sinatra and Eon live. Yep. Not a bad state. Of handful of questions. Do y'all want a food one or a Mario one? Gosh. I I am indifferent. Let's do Mario. Alright. Do y'all want a easy Mario or a hard Mario one? Oh, a hard one. Okay. Um, who has portrayed Mario in a live-action role. Chris Pratt. Bob, ha Bob oh, wait, Hoskins. No. Bob yeah, Hoskins is Bob, one. Bob Hoskins. Yeah, Chris Pratt. And I can't can't remember the name of the guy from the TV show, but... Uh... Oh, um... Mm, damn. <laughs> I would know it's this like if I weren't doing this. It's like Lou something, all right? Yep. And there is also a third one. Oh. From a ColecoVision commercial. I don't think we're going to get that one. I don't think you're going to get that one. But the, uh, the, te the, the Super Mario Super Show one is, is Lou something. 
Luthorigno? No. I'm thinking of the Hulk, aren't I? That was the Hulk, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Whoops. Close, I guess. <laughs> And it's it's Captain Captain Lou something yep. they call them. That is exactly it. Yeah. Uh, last name begins with an A. I think I'm gonna have to end up losing this question to try to salvage this run. <laughs> I, I can't do both at the same Let's time. Focus. <laughs> We do say in the intro, focus too hard on the questions and your run might suffer. Yep. And we also say for those playing, or for those at home, feel free to play along in chat. Those are the two things I say. I also say, um, think fast. No. Oh, okay. How many times is think fast said in the intro? We need to just have like a meta. I mean, we kind Captain, of have already Captain had Captain Lou Albano. Captain Lou Albano. Yeah, there you go. That's right. Good, because I completely got ruined on this level. <laughs> it wasn't worth 10 seconds, I'll tell you that. Um, I lost like two minutes thinking of it. The last one in the ColecoVision commercials is Harris Shore. And because you both got one, that is 15 seconds for both of you. No one answered my bonus question. What was the bonus question? How many times do I say think fast in the intro? Three was it times. twice? It is twice. Dang. But it could also be three times if you include without further delay, it's time to think fast. So you're both right. Oh, okay. okay. the interview of Bob Hoskins talking about how he discovered what his Mario movie role was actually about is iconic. How I think his daughter or granddaughter showed him like what the source material was and he's like I performed in Shakespeare plays. I played Hamlet. <laughs> you now. Mario, Mario. Mario, Mario. <laughs> <clears throat> Definitely one of the movies of all time. <clears throat> of all the levels in this, in this game, I did not think that this one was going to be the one to body me, but here we are. So it goes. Where are you at in the run, Shub? Is it the switches or the waffles that are getting you? The switches are getting me. The lore says we're actually out of waffles, and since... Oh, no, it says that in the first room. I can't even show you anymore. But, yeah, the, the message box says they're out of waffles for the day, so switches only. I'm in disco dance after party. To answer your question. Yeah, you are. I get uh, two switches and a waffles. We're out of waffles, the switch is okay. We're out of Coca-Cola, is Brad's drink okay? <laughs> it's drink okay. It's gotta get it from you gotta get it you gotta get it from the Brad's fire though. <laughs> is Peppo okay? Oh my god, finally. Get in there. It's one boo. He keeps popping up, huh? So this game has 42 rooms, and exactly 50% of them, 21 rooms, are big blue boss fights. Oh. I am quite the fan of them. They're very uh, versatile and easy to modify. So I actually wanted to change this because it sucks, because there's a Fanto, but I didn't have time. <laughs> It's like Shepard didn't have too much trouble with it. Let's see if I will. I'm uh, I'm struggling here in the after party though. So you know. Are you all both still in uh, waffles? Nope. I'm, I'm in the next level. I'm finishing up waffles. Gotcha. She's she's post waffles. She's in the what is the last level in the run? 
post waffle era. He's on the post last waffle. any percent level since we did post game first for routing reasons. Uh, the routing reason is uh, there's non skippable credits after the last any percent level, which unlocks one of the um, post game levels, and we don't want to have that contribute to time in the run, so we do post game first, then go back and do any percent and finish with credits. Like mesmerized by the by this blue fight. <laughs> this break break the mesmerization. Uh, who are the non Mario franchise characters featured in the first Mario Kart arcade GP? Pac Man. Pac Man. That's one of them. That's the only one I know. <laughs> <laughs> The other two... Extrapolate. Yeah, the other two are also Pac-Man characters. Oh, uh, Inky? Not, no. not Inky. Miss Pac-Man. Blinky? It is Miss Pac-Man Pac and Blinky, is one. yes. <laughs> and Blinky is the other. Head for BK20 for Shavda. Who, who developed Pac-Man Kate, or, or Mario Kart Arcade GP1? Wow, I could not say that game's name. Oh, it was Namco, Arcade. right? It has to be. I, I, like, it has I to wonder, be. There's yeah. no way it's not. Um... The most recent Mario Kart Arcade GP features a uh, Dunchan from Taiko. That rules. I think it's just Dunchan and Pac-Man. So Miss Pac-Man and Blinky are gone. Uh -huh. I learned at SGDQ that Taiko has spl a Splatoon melody, and it's very <laughs> fun. I wanted to write a question about Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, but there's really nothing interesting about that game. Yeah. <laughs> We could have written some. Surely we could have written some questions about um, what's it called? About world tour. All right. Since this is food percent, and I've just finished Roscoe's house of, which is in waffles. I'm gonna have a waffle. Whoa! Oh some my goodness! On it. The preparation. <laughs> Um, also, I think, that's worth, the... I think that's I think that's worth twenty seconds. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also, the um, the second Mario Kart Arcade GP game featured um, it featured Mamechi. What from Amagachi? Oh. And also Blinky, Pac-Man, and Miss Pac-Man. Did they have my favorite Mario character in it, though? That being... Mushpert? No, unfortunately. Dang. <laughs> Messed up. Bring back Mushpert. Incidentally enough, this level is the one where one of the people who quit quit on this room, more specifically. Oh. Hardest room in the game confirmed. It's quite the difficulty spike tech wise. <laughs> Speaking of things that are shaped like spikes. In what country was the largest ice cream cone built? Uh, Iceland, Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, <laughs> Norway, Finland. Yes, I, I knew. I knew it was, it was one of the Nordic countries. countries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twenty for BK. It was ten feet one inch tall, or three point oh eight meters, and include one thousand eighty liters of ice cream. Oh my That's god! I want to go to there. I like to imagine it's just like a permanent fixture. They just keep refilling. <laughs> they keep. They have to keep refilling it <laughs> when it melts. <clears throat> Similarly, what country consumes the most ice cream per capita? <laughs> U.S. No. Huh. Canada. No? We gotta bump up those numbers. Oh. 
There are more countries. Really? As a reminder. Wisconsin. <laughs> Japan. Nope. Oh. Can we get a hint? Hemisphere. It is an English speaking Southern country. Southern Hemisphere. Eng English speaking Australia? No. No. Really? English speaking country. Southern South Africa. Nope. No. No. New Zealand. Yeah. It's That's There's right. One more. <laughs> It's it's time for me. Yeah, both both of us giving clues at the same time <laughs> ended up being a really big clue. Yeah, that that narrowed it down to just a few. So, according to WorldAtlas.com, New Zealand consumes twenty the average or per capita uh, twenty eight point four liters per year in New Zealand. U.S. is 20.8 liters of ice cream per capita. 28.4 versus 20.8? Yeah. Dang, that's like a lot more. And then Australia is 18. All right, Australia, step it up. Yeah, I got to pick up the numbers. Um, Australia is third, so. No. Oh, that was so good. And then I beefed it. I think that was my chance gone. I believe. Shadow, what room are you on? I'm just after getting yellow Yasi Chen. Okay, yeah, she's she's basically done. She's basically one. Not if you all the, get all the really hard stuff. And more all minutes of trivia questions. bonus time. <laughs> I don't think oh, we yeah. can, but do you have ten more minutes? Uh, we can we can, uh... we can mess with the numbers. <laughs> you have right. more waffles? Just to pull out of nowhere. <laughs> I, I've got, I've got three quarters more of a waffle. Yeah. All right. If you get this one in one, I'll give you three minutes. What? Which? I mean, it, it is, it is open for both. <laughs> if you get it first try. Which Mario game was released today in 2003 in Japan? The game was I'm released not... in North America, October 20th, 2003. I have no idea. 2003. Let's see. That was that was GameCube era, I think. What, what GameCube Mario games? Sunshine? Was it Sunshine? Mario Strikers. It is neither, neither of those. Neither correct. It's also not Three GameCube. minutes wiped away. <laughs> not, now, not normal GameCube. time. It's not GameCube. Oh, uh, DS or whatever at the time. I forgot they had mobile systems. Other consoles. <laughs> that Mario Pinball Land, is it? No. It is not. It is a GBA game. Yeah, the DS, as, a, as I was say, as a reminder, the DS came out in 2004. <laughs> um. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga? No. It is a this game. It's kind of a trick question, if I'm going to be honest. Hey, it's a game. It's kind of a remake. Oh, Mario 60. No, DS came out in 2004. Uh, never mind. Got any more hints? Uh, remake, remade game, GBA. It's in a series of other remade games. Uh, oh, is it the Yoshi's Island remake. I don't know the full name. Super Mario Advance Four. It is four. Three. That's right. Oh, okay, it's four. Yay. <laughs> and for Shabda. The Yoshi's Island Super remake Mario, called SMA. That's the Super Mario 4. Bros. Three remake. Uh, yeah, I think the first 
Advance or second Super Mario Advance was Yoshi's Island? No, the third one is. It goes uh, two, like the US two, and then World, uh, World two, Yoshi's yeah. Island, and, and then, then three. three yeah. And Very then it's also weird Super ordering. Mario's Advance E. <clears throat> no, I think it just had e-reader support for four. E, shout out to Arezafe. Also, shout out to Estrogen. Shout out to Estrogen. Uh, other important games released today include Goof Troop and Kirby Air Ride. Huh. I love Kirby Air Ride. And also, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh. Hey, the original Mai Mai was released on July 11th. The original what? Mai Mai. It's a rhythm game. Uh, um, the cutting room floor's description is, Welcome to Mai Mai, the first of Sega's series of, and then crossed out, washing machine shaped rhythm games. Um, they kind of do look like a washing machine. Gotcha. This Magic Cooper room seems a lot more forgiving. During uh, their concerts, Giddy Lee from Rush would have a bunch of washing machines and other home appliances uh, to his back because the guitar player Alex Lifeson would bring his own gear, but uh, Giddy Lee would just use the house PA system and didn't need anything behind him and he wanted to just balance the aesthetics of it. As so you have roadies coming in, like putting clothes in and taking them out of the washers and dryers as the show is going on from behind Giddy Lee. It's very good. Time. Thank you. <laughs> and we I've can't got... be one back using our limited remaining trivia <laughs> questions. Please give us a limited. Give us this one. What Baja Blast spinoff flavors were released for a limited time in 2024? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> in current no. year. <laughs> Afraid not. One of these is a Doritos flavor. Oh, that made it worse. <laughs> All right. No, no ideas. No idea. All right. We got Baja Laguna Lemonade, which is a mango lemonade. Baja Point Break Punch, which is like a berry punch, I think. And Doritos Baja Fiery Mango, which are like spicy oh. mango Doritos. I don't like that. Some of the no. things of all time. All right, here's one that's not as hard. What is the most popular cheese-related recipe in the United States? Grilled cheese. It's not grilled cheese. Not grilled cheese. Nachos and cheese? Nope. No? Mac and cheese? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. there it is. My, um, I, I got, or I guess I won a car sunshade that's branded Baja Blast, and it came in the mail today, so. Nice. Wait, the world, you said the world record for this gets it in two deaths? Yeah. That seems, that seems ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, the runner for it, Calco 2, is a notoriously proficient uh, runner at whatever he puts his mind to. Um, before he played in Randis, he was actually known for not being proficient in the cape in Super Mario World. <laughs> and he decided to play this game to, his words, learn cape. And then he I see. ran it into the ground. <laughs> you know? I guess that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Good old Calco. <laughs> you want to run 
through some more questions. Okay. That are <clears throat> probably not about Baja Blast. Unfortunately. Even more expensive than vanilla, what is the most expensive spice by weight in the world? Oh. I know what it is. I didn't know vanilla was that expensive. If it's what I'm thinking of, it has like no flavor and it just tinges your food goldish. Am it's I? Not that. It's not that. Okay. <laughs> It is... What what type of cuisine is it used in? Um, like... Yeah, it's in, like, uh, Indian and, like, Persian food. Ayala uses it famously. Mm -hmm. It's also a Pokemon location. That's true. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Think about your Kanto towns. <laughs> Is it bad that I didn't really play much Pokemon? No. I mean, it's, it's, it's bad for uh, understanding what the answer is given my hint. That's fair. But I think we're going to come up on time here right now. All right. That was, that was pretty good. That was close. I don't know where you got stuck. You must have gotten stuck somewhere because I got super stuck in one place and it was still pretty close. Yep. I don't even know where anymore, but I definitely felt stuck in one spot or two. <clears throat> All right. Well, this one is Saffron. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. We have our final compile times. I believe we do. Yeah. Coming in at second place, BK with a 59.14. Sub hour. And at first, <laughs> shoved up with that was a my 52 goal. 36. Woohoo! Thank you so much for both, uh, I don't know, subjecting yourselves to this. <laughs> Y'all have any shout outs you'd like to give? Uh, shout outs to uh, Link Dead X2 for uh, not doing this with us because he is a better man and better person than both of us. He's not better than us. Know your worth. That's fair. <laughs> well, he's a better man than I am, but that's for a different reason. That's true. Because you're not a man. Yeah. Trans rights. Trans rights. Thank you again so much for being on our show. Thanks for having yeah, us. I hope you had thank, fun. We did. Definitely. Thank good. you for having us so much. Definitely one of the more Congratulations on the world records and PBs and whatnot. I pulled chat out. Someone asks, did BK just pull out a waffle? I pulled out the last three quarters <laughs> of my waffle. I pulled out the first quarter after the waffle level in the name because it had waffles in the name and we're doing food percent. <laughs> I sold it with the post-race waffle. Boos. Huh? Do we have any announcements? We do. Such as... Your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits shared on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. If you enjoy watching speedruns, consider subscribing to the channel. GDQ is going to PAX West. The schedule will be released July 14th, 
Use exclamation point PAX in Twitch chat for more info. GDQ's next all-women and femme speedrunning event, Flame Fatales, returns August 18th through the 25th. Use the exclamation point FF in Twitch chat to check out the schedule and let us know what you're looking forward to the most. Go to gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix for more info on our weekly shows such as this one and weekend specials. And finally, stay tuned for a special one-off coming up after the break. Thank you so much for hanging out and thinking fast with all of us here. Uh, you know what? The... Uh, the best meal you can have is some good trivia. And the second best meal you can have is eight donuts, <laughs> two and a quarter tables, teaspoons of vanilla extract, a cheese stick, a can of soda, a cookie, two sizable bites of butter, and eight squares of chocolate. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.